Hey, gits and gals, this is Warboss Nick of the Broken Legions of Gamers coming at you from the battle wagon again with another video. In this video, I'm going to talk about what I would like to see with the orc release with the models. Now, I'd definitely love to see a new plastic gas skull, and even if he doesn't become a prime orc, a plastic gas skull would be great. Another thing I'd like to see, this is kind of two models. Uh, the Space Marines have a commander model kit that comes with all of the options. I'd love to see a model kit like that done for both the, the War Boss and the Big Mech. I understand with the Big Mech we already have a plastic shock attack gun, but it would be great to get one with where you can have every other weapon option, including the custom force field. That would be great. And the same thing with the war boss. The only war boss we can buy right now direct from GW is a metal war boss with, I believe it's the big choppa and the custom shooter. I'd love to see something like, like that, like the space Marine commander pack. And granted, I know those, the orc, HQ models are bigger than the Space Marine HQ models. Make them 40 bucks. They'll be worth it. Another thing I feel is a must is everybody, a lot of people are saying we need a new boy kit. It's outdated. We need new bike kits. They're outdated. I think those models look great, and I think they've stood the test of time. They're not as, they're not like Primaris level great, but those model kits are still great. We still have things that are, we still have regular units that are plastic and metal. I think we need a, a multi-part plastic defcopter kit where you can build the defcopter and choose your weapons just like every other faction has. The Space Marines have their air speeders or whatever they're called. Why can't we have that for the orcs with the defcopters? Charge us. 25 30 bucks for one of them i'd pay it i love the def coptas they may not be the most competitive because of how they're priced points wise but i think they're fun to play and i'd also like to see plastic model kits for the commandos and the tank busters i don't i don't like the fact that those both have resin kits so you got to buy five of them. They're 45 bucks and you're only getting four regular guys and a boss knob. No, if you buy that, then the next time you go, you're only getting four useful guys. At least with the multi-part plastic kit, you can build the fifth guy however you want it and you can keep adding to it. That's why I'm going to, when I while I'm doing my tank busters, I'm just using the rocket launchers from the boys' kits, and I'm going to kit bash a boss knob with a rocket launcher. It's probably the simplest and most affordable way. Why I go and do my commandos? I'm going to sit there. I'm just going to buy two regular boys' boxes, build them up to look like commandos. I'm going to get the... Africa core backpacks from Cromlech, and then I'm going to throw throw those on the backs. This way, they look differently from the rest of my boys. I'm going to paint them up like commandos, and bam, I got 15 commandos for much cheaper than buying 15 commandos from GW also. But if they had a multi-part plastic kit, even if it was just five guys for 30 bucks, I'd buy the kit and build them up that way. But I'm going to have to go do what my pocket will allow me to do to get my commandos unless GW offers a legit alternative. So those are the model kits I'd really like to see. And as always, if you like, the, if you like my videos, hit the subscribe button. Also hit that bell icon to the right. This way you can get notified every time. I put up a new video, and also, as always, support local gaming. Here with Broken Legion of Gamers, we support Toy Wiz in Nanuet, New York. It's on Route 59, right across the street from the Dunkin' Donuts. 
Have a nice night, guys.